kid shows aren't as innocent as we think they are. In fact, most of the time, they are riddled with adult jokes and innuendos. From DuckTales being part of the Illuminati to Spongebob promoting sexual content. Let's talk about these and more only in today's video. Top 10 subliminal messages in kid shows you can't ignore. But before I begin, I have some really exciting news. I have a brand new channel coming out called Peach, starring me, myself, and I. If you want to get to know me better and have a good time with me, then head over to Peach and subscribe. Link will be in the bio. Starting off this countdown, we have DuckTales Illuminati. In season three, episode 13, in an episode of DuckTales titled Yuppie Ducks, fans notice something quite strange in the background of a scene. So in this episode, Scrooge gets a bad itch and has to go to a doctor. The doctor has some weird decorations in his office, though. In the background, there's an eye chart, but the eye chart clearly reads, Ask about Illuminati. It's not that subtle at all. And why is it that the animators decided to throw in that little subliminal message? Are they trying to tell us something? In our ninth spot, we have SpongeBob's TV. And if you guys are liking this video so far and you want to see more content like this, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Not gonna lie, SpongeBob is filled with dirty jokes. As kids watching the show, it often went over our heads. But if you go back and re-watch the episodes, Chances are you'll understand what the writers were truly trying to convey. Take the scene of Spongebob featured in the episode, Your Shoes Untied. In this episode, Spongebob forgets how to tie his shoes, but that's irrelevant. In one scene, Spongebob turns on the TV and relaxes back in his chair. On the TV, we see Sea Anemone dancing back and forth. Spongebob is clearly into this. Then Gary enters the room and he quickly switches the channel to a football game. And he's clearly embarrassed, implying that what he was originally watching was inappropriate. Gary caught him right in the middle of him watching a rated R program. In our eighth spot, we have the three little pigs. Disney is sick for including this in the show. So let's take a look at the three little pigs. In one scene, we see the pigs singing and dancing in one of their homes. But beside them in the back is a framed picture of sausages. And we all know that sausages are made out of pig. To make matters worse, the frame is labeled as father. So their father got turned into sausages and eaten. In another scene, we see another framed piece of meat artwork. This time, it's a ham leg, and it's also labeled father. So the three little pigs' father was killed, hacked up, and sold as different meat items. Disgusted. Moving on to number seven, we have Adventure Time. Adventure Time is just another one of those shows that is filled with inappropriate jokes. But there are two main episodes that I want to talk about today. The first one being the episode titled, What Have You Done? In this episode, the Ice King accidentally infects all of the Candy Kingdom with an ice plague. And so Princess Bubblegum looks back through her research book to see if she's got a cure for this. Well, as she is flipping through the book, we see a number written on the page. 531-8008. Look at this number in the mirror, and it spells out boobs. It does. They also carefully place the dots in the numbers to represent, you know, come on, you get it. I don't have to say it. The next episode I'm gonna be talking about is the one called Blank Eyed Girl. Now this isn't as subtle as the last episode, but basically in this episode, Jake and Flynn are looking for the creepy stuff book. While exploring a shelf with many books, they come across one titled Butt Stuff. Again, I really don't need to explain this. Moving on at number six, we have the Rugrats. Grandpa Lou from the Rugrats always creeped me out. And the next scene from the Rugrats proves that he's just as creepy as I always thought he was. So in one episode, we see Grandpa Lou babysitting Tommy and Chucky. He tells them that he rented a movie for them. He says, and I quote, let's get down to some real fun. I've rented you boys some movies. He then holds up a movie featuring the Reptar. And then he holds up the movie that he rented for himself. He then says, but my personal favorite is Lonely Space Vixens. The movie that he's holding features a green skinned female alien in a bikini. He then laughs and wiggles his eyebrows and says, now that's for after you go to bed. Ew, Ugh, I'm sorry. Like that definitely wasn't necessary. Oh, get that image out of my mind. We're now 
now at our fifth and halfway mark with Dexter's Lab. For this show, let's take a look at the episode titled Nuclear Confusion. In this episode, Dee Dee steals an important part to one of Dexter's inventions, and then decides to make him go on a scavenger hunt before he can get the piece back. One of the clues told Dexter to look next door. So he goes there, and we see him in the kitchen with the neighbor lady. There she offers him cookies, but drops one to the floor. She then goes to retrieve it, and written across her bottom is Dad's Trophy. Just take that in for a moment, okay? Obviously, the next clue was for Dexter to go look at his dad's trophy. But we all know that that has a double meaning. Also, how the heck did Dee Dee manage to write that across her bum without her even feeling it? I'm concerned. In our fourth spot, we have the Krusty Krab. This next fact, or whatever you want to call it, has ruined Spongebob for me. I can never look at the show again the same. So Spongebob, as we all know, lives in an underwater town called Bikini Bottom. He works at the Krusty Krab. The Krusty Krab in Bikini Bottom. Just think about it, okay? Not only that, but there's also the Chum Bucket. Bikini Bottom has a Krusty Krab and a Chum Bucket. If I have to explain this, then you're too young to be watching this video. The creators really thought they were sly with that one. Coming in at number three, we have Dexter's assistant. How did we not catch on to this as kids? We were just so young and naive. Okay, in an episode, Dexter gets fed up with Dee Dee and decides to hire a replacement. He then hires a woman named Candy, a very tall and attractive blonde woman who is blessed in the chest area, if you get what I'm saying. At one point, Dexter asked her to dance around. She replies with, okay, but it's 50 bucks extra. Also, the fact that they named her Candy? Come on, come on. They made that too obvious. In our second spot, we have the genius. Here's another dirty reference from SpongeBob. Are we surprised? I'm not. So in the episode titled Texas, Sandy gets homesick and wants to go home. If you guys know, then you know. You're lucky we're keeping that in for you. Patrick and SpongeBob are trying to think of ways to make her feel less homesick. During this conversation, Patrick has a good idea, and Spongebob says, Patrick, your genius is showing. Patrick then panics and quickly covers his crotch area. What rhymes with genius? Yeah, you know exactly what he thought Spongebob was referring to. And in our number one spot, we have Rocco's Modern Life. This next hidden message was a little too much, and in the end, it ended up being cut out from the episode. So let's take a look at the episode titled Hut Saw Raw. In the episode, we see Rocco picking berries from a bush. Upon picking one of the berries, we see a bear run out of the bush, whimpering while holding his crotch, implying that Rocco picked the wrong set of berries, if you know what I mean. Now, this scene did see air, but then it was edited out by Nickelodeon for future broadcasts and for the season two DVD release. But in Canada, they didn't bother to edit out and they just let it play with this interesting scene still in it. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below which one of these subliminal messages like shocked you the most. Honestly, SpongeBob? SpongeBob needs to chill. And now, speaking of comments, we're gonna move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video Top 10 True Scary Stories About King Touch Treasure. Princess Kittens commented, Lindsay is just gonna leave us all to die from a curse or a demon, despite being the one to get us into the mess in the first place. Okay, hold up, hold up. Did I release the curse of King Tut? No. Was I there? Like, no. I, no. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. It's not my fault, okay? Getting cursed by a demon, maybe, maybe, because some of the stuff that I talk about is pretty spooky and I could see people being like, oh, I want to play Bloody Mary, Lindsay talked about it. So that I could see, but uh, if you get cursed, you know, that's not my problem, sorry. Dragonaut72 commented, did you know that the reason King Tutankhamun died so young is because he was a product of, okay. Well, no, I did not know that. Um. Okay, let's just move on to the next question. Oh, that's so funny. It like potato, 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 potato commented, return the slab or suffer my curse. Yeah, if you guys know where that's from, I like you. It's Courage the Cowardly Dog, that one episode that scarred me. I still can't watch that episode because it's too much. 
Alright guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see ya. Check out Peach. At one point, Dexter asked, asked her. At one point, Dexter asked her. That sound like I said asked her. Like ass. At one point, Dexter asked. 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 No, just didn't do it. At one point, Dexter asked. I can't say it now. Asked. Asked. Why do you do we pronounce it like ass? Like A S T E D. Bro, that's actually hilarious. Like 10 out of 10 to the writers for that.